Shut up and sit down. Hey guys, TJ Dwarf here, and here's another episode of my Witcher Let's Play. So I'm here at the Bloody Baron's castle. Okay, I'll just walk by. I swear you talk to those guys, but I won't. Right, so I'll wrap right here. As you can see, I got a sword, a better crossbow, and some better trousers. Uh, killed a werewolf. Spot a side of for a side quest. Uh, show me what you got. Like to take a look. What's this? I don't know what I have now. I think I've just got basic ones like that. I'm curious to what that is. So yeah, it looks a lot better with uh, two swords on his back. Oh, that just reminds me, I need to do my character. Got one point available. What is this stuff here? That was quite good. Just want to have a quick look through all these. Cause I'm not interested in the bombs, I'm actually interested in... I think I might just stay with this, I think. Yeah, I think I might just uh, grab that. Place it in that slot. Right then, quickly run up here. Ah, oh, maybe it's these guys I talked to. Baron home. Depends who's asking. A witcher. Want to talk to him. And I want to plow the lovely Queen Cyril. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way. Nice and all. It led me here. Gotta to talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we have none but him. Open the gate. Sergeants. Ardle. Witcher, to see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Grab all those. Sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron, your commander? Hmm. 
Yeah. Come on. Your mate split the loot between them long ago. That's what I would do. And you, shut it now. Save your strength. Die with some dignity. Pampering. Infosema. Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> oh! One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> hey! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. I like the Baron, even though he's a bit of a Look dick. at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. I don't think I saved him. Well, spoiler there. It would have put the bloody vodka. Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Fortes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell, who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stringer. Now the blob tits round here call me the bloody blob tits. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? I don't. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. What's that supposed to mean? That a threat? Oi, not as clever as I suspected you'd be. Huh? No, it's no threat. I'll spell it out for you. I know who you're looking for. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded. And stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. That. 
You can calm down. Hello there. A little, I guess. Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? <laughs> it's nothing. Why don't you tell me where you live? In Lindenvale. They'd see to your wounds there. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Come. I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Do a lot more. Come. Look, there's something there. Oh, shit, sir. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But no, but stay here. I must see something. You could say that's the definition of tearing someone a new one. <laughs> he got fucked up. Mm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and... Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, <laughs> what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When do children get so smart? What we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No, a far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, bull's parsley. You're smart. Not my. Right, let's, uh. Yeah, 
Maybe I should have been picking everything up. Blah 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 blah. That's not one looking for. Pardon me. Mm, it's dead. A pig here? Must be a human settlement nearby. That's not one looking for. For a spot where I can build a fire, and brew the oil in peace. What are you doing? Greasing my blade. There. You'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Right then, let's go move on, little girl. Just run off without her, even though it says follow, fuck it. Through the cave, eh? It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. We well, should be. <laughs> So much for hiding. Come on, attack. Oh, oh got a bit too close. Wait, yep. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Karen must be. 
We was rich. The little one. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a clue or two on me, unfortunately. I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful. Might even reward you for cutting the... Very well. And that's how she met the Baron, I think. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? How the fuck are they eating stew? With okay. their hands. I'd not eaten in. <laughs> Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I. Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. No, a topic for now. Talk. That sharp, miss. Watch your tongue, witcher. Blah, 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 we wish blah, to blah. come to an agreement, do we not? Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Hmm. Deal. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. God! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon. As if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. Right, guys. And I'm going to make that the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it for whatever number episode this is. So this is uh, TJ Dwarf signing off.